Welcome to St. Andrew's Daily Prayer for Holy Saturday. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts, and your spirit ever renew our lives. A reading from Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my stronghold. Guide me and lead me for your name's sake. Take me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me for you are my strength. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face to shine upon your servant and save me for your mercy's sake. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, when scorn and shame besiege us and hope is veiled in grief, hold us in your wounded hands and make your face shine on us again, For you are our Lord and God. Amen. A reading from the Book of Lamentations. I am the man who has seen affliction by the rod of the Lord's wrath. He has driven me away and made me walk in darkness rather than light. Indeed, he has turned his hand against me again and again all day long. He has made my skin and my flesh grow old and has broken my bones. He has besieged me and surrounded me with bitterness and hardship. He has made me dwell in darkness like those long dead. He has walled me in so I cannot escape. He has weighed me down with chains. Even when I call out or cry for help, he shuts out my prayer. He has barred my way with blocks of stone. He has made my paths crooked. I remember my affliction and my wandering, the bitterness and the gall. I well remember them, and my soul is cast down within me. Yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will wait for him. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. On this day, we pray for those who are suffering, and we include prayer requests from our church's prayer partnership and from Presbyterian World Service and Development. By the power of the Spirit, and in unity with Christ, trusting always in God's life-giving intent for creation, let us pray. On this day, Jesus rests in the grave. We pray for trust in the resurrection and the power of new life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for Ukraine. We are deeply moved by the stories of compassion and generosity, as refugees fleeing this conflict are cared for by aid workers and welcomed in neighboring countries and around the world. Support and sustain those who are helping in ways we cannot and reveal new ways that we can. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of the nations, grant your wisdom to all those in authority and give them your courage to apply that wisdom with integrity, with clarity of purpose, and with compassion. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of us all, we pray for the life of our church, that enriched by your grace, we may witness to your eternal truth in our own time and place. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, you have taught us that in your Son, the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never overcome it. Be with all those whose life is overshadowed by suffering and pain or made hopeless by heavy burdens borne alone. 
Help them to know the gentle but powerful support of your love and show us ways to reveal your light in their dark moments. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Look, we pray, upon our community, strengthen that which is good within it, and teach us to cherish it. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who suffer from anxiety, depression, or mental illness of any kind, for those to whom life has brought the grief of loss, and for those who struggle to find meaning and purpose, that through your abiding presence and the care of others, they may come to know your peace and fulfillment. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of all knowledge, thank you for PWSND's programming in Afghanistan, through which many girls have been able to attend school over the past 20 years. We remember in prayer those who currently do not have access to education in this country and around the world. Help us to tirelessly advocate for their right to learn. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of all, the earth is hushed and all creation waits in stillness while your son lies in the tomb. Direct us in our earthly journey that we may experience by faith that hope which as yet we cannot see, the hope that death's word is not the last, and that the end of all truth is life everlasting and the fullness of communion with you in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the light of Christ shine in all our hearts. Amen. Thank you.